Hi there, this is Professor Smith, and in this video I am going to walk you through solving equations using the principles of equality, which state that to undo an operation you use the opposite operation. For example, to undo addition you subtract, to undo multiplication you divide, etc. So in our first example, x plus 15 equals 25. 15 is being added to our variable x. So to undo addition by 15, we need to subtract 15 from both sides. And when we do that, we carry down our variable x. The 15s cancel out, bring down the equal sign, and we get x is equal to 10. And that's it. For the next example, x minus 36 equals 42. 36 is being subtracted from the variable, so to undo that subtraction, we need to add 36 to both sides of the equation. We bring down the x, the 36's cancel, equals 78. So x equals 78 is our solution. Feel free to pause this, speed up the playback, or review anything that you'd like. The next example, 3x equals 75, we have a coefficient on our variable. So when a number mm -hmm. is attached to a letter that represents multiplication, and we undo multiplication with division. So to solve this equation for x, we need to divide both sides by 3, which leaves us with x is equal to 25. Part D, I've got x divided by 5 is equal to negative 12. To undo division by 5, we are going to multiply both sides of the equation by 5 to get that x is equal to negative 60. And in the next example, 15 minus x equals 0, some people will be tempted to subtract 15 from both sides, but that'll add an extra step to solving this equation. I would prefer to add x to both sides, and so when I do that, I get 15 is equal to x. Or if I want to rewrite it with the variable first, I get x is equal to 15. In our next example, this is going to involve some distribution first. When you have a number out in front of the parentheses, sorry for the focus issues here, mm -hmm. we need to distribute the number in front of the parentheses into all of the terms in the parentheses, which means we have to multiply. So 5 times y is 5y. Five, 5 times 3 is 15. For this next distribution, I need to keep the negative sign attached to the 5. So negative 5 times y is negative 5y. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. And I bring down my equals 0. So the first thing I did to simplify was to distribute. Now I have some like terms that I should combine. For example, 5y and negative 5y are like terms, and 15 and negative 30 are like terms. Some people would prefer to rewrite this equation with the like terms next to each other. So you could see that 5y minus 5y, that cancels out. 15 minus 30 is negative 15 is equal to 0. Well, no, it's not. That's a false statement. When you are solving equations and you come to a false statement, that means there is no solution. When you're solving equations and you come to a true statement, such as 5 equals 5, that means there is an infinite number of solutions, namely all real numbers. In the next example, 4m divided by 5 equals 12, that is the same as 4 fifths m is equal to 12, where I have a fractional coefficient on my variable. To undo the multiplication of m by 4 fifths, I would need to divide both sides by 4 fifths. However, division by 4 fifths is equal to mm -hmm. multiplication mm -hmm. by 5 fourths. So I multiply both sides of the equation by 5 over 4, which cancels out everything on the left except for the m. And then on the right, 4 goes into 4 once and into 12 three times, so I get m is equal to 15. Now, in this last example I have here of solving equations, I have 7 is equal to 5 sixths p plus 
22 when I rewrite it with the fractional coefficient on my variable. Here I have p being both multiplied by 5 6 and a constant being added to it. When you have multiple operations like that going on, my suggestion is to undo addition and subtraction first. Whoops. <laughs> then undo multiplication and division. So I would like to move this 22 to the other side. And the way that I'm going to do that is by subtracting 22 from both sides of the equation. So on the left, 7 minus 22 is negative 15 is equal to 5 sixths p, and the 22's cancel out. So p is still being multiplied by 5 over 6, so to undo that multiplication, we multiply both sides of the equation by 6 fifths. And so when we multiply on the left, 5 goes into 5 once and into negative 15, negative 3 times. So we have 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then on the right, all the fractions will cancel out and leave us with just p. So we get p is equal to negative 18.